intimidating road venues in college football thanks to the 12th man. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Hunter's a guy that comes out here on the road. The coaching staff knows that he is in a hostile environment. I think they're hoping that that's going to play in their favor a little bit. I think they want to challenge him. You know, over the, over the year, I think they've seen that he has an ability to make plays, but when he gets on the road, he has a tendency to maybe to cough the ball up and not play as well. And I think that they feel like they can really try to challenge him, get this crowd into the game, try to crowd the line, put as much pressure on him as they can, and they feel that they've got a shot to slow him down. We'll see. How about that play? Excellent job by the running back on that little option play. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. And now he's got room to run. Runs right for a nice game. The halfback option good for seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. run and he's brought down really smart call here by the offense going with the counter it fooled the defense just enough to give the tailback room to get through first down and they'll bring it up first and goal inside the five and now he pitches it he's tackled just outside the goal line the fullback picks up about three yards on that carry They swallow that one up. That option play lost about a yard. They're at the two. Third down. And he's tackled at the one yard line. Thorne only gets about a yard there on the option keeper. He tackles him for a loss. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line, first down. They'll go ground. He fights forward to about the 23. That brings up second and nine. Here we go. Up the middle for a nice game. Third and two. Ball on their own 30. Here we go. 
and he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Receiver screenplay brought down at the 47 yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Now he tries to buy some time and he tackles him hard at midfield. That'll bring up third and inches. At about the 41. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41. Inside give. He makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line. That brings up second and nine. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. And he probably should never have thrown that ball. When your receivers are covered like that, sometimes as a quarterback, it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Nice run there. So the option play works as designed, and the offense picks up a first down. Good read by the quarterback. He made a quick pitch off to the running back, and they came away with a pretty good game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Hunter, again. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. the stop at the 47. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Over the middle to his tailback. That screenplay gets him a yard at the most. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. And they push him out at the 23-yard line. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. He scrambled. And down he goes at about the 23-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Handoff brought down quickly. No game. That brings 
brings up third and ten. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. First and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. That brings in second and nine. He's taken down at the 44. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That will bring up 32. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Johnson is back deep to return. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but... I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play calling. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Hunter gets seven yards on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here he goes. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. We've played one. Still no score. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. He's tackled at about the 45. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. From the 45-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 43. That makes it second and eight. Man left, man left. Going down, going down. Two fours to Mike. Right, right. 
Gets out to around the 35. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Big opening. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 11. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. Now let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. It's second and nine. Ten yards to the end zone. Just throws this one away. This is the ninth play of this drive. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. converts the extra point. So a nine play, 80 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Auburn to kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Fred, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread, or the pistol, and hurry up tempo offense, and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Pitches, and he's got room. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. their own 40-yard line. First down. Now he's scrambling, and he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. out and the ball is up for grabs and they fall on the loose ball that's a big break for this defense you know this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover block they need to hold on to the football with one quarter down i really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads might be neck and neck the whole way auburn is up a score wants to throw outside Caught. Nope. It popped out. Incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Handoff up the middle. They bring him down in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. It middle to the running back. And they got him for a loss. That's a two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Auburn is hoping to make this a two-score game. 
It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. McPherson is lined up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense comes back out. And as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. And he's level at the 23. Throws it out right to the running back. Loss of about two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Here's the give. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Moss picks up about seven yards on the run. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 45. That's good decision making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 45. That tackle could have saved a very big play. That's a great tackle at the 40. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 40. Scrambling around. He's at the 30. He lost the ball. He picks it up. And he's taken down around the 25-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He has some room. Brought down at the eight. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Pass, touchdown. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he hits the PAT. Texas A&M is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers get ready to go in here at halftime. They've got their star player not having the kind of game he normally has on a weekly basis, and yet they've got the lead. And with that in mind, third and fourth quarter could belong to them. Third and fourth quarter should belong to them because I have a lot of confidence that this offense is eventually going to start to click. And, and once they do, I think it's a matter of time until you really find out what they're capable of doing. The defense, I think, has done a good enough job of slowing down that star tailback. We'll see if they can hold on here in the second half. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Auburn is up by three. 
And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 42-yard line, it's third down. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. The screen is good for four. Chapman to punt. Oh, man, did he take a hit. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. And they make the stop at the 19-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes at the 28. good for seven yards two minutes to go in the half Texas a and going to take their first time out of the half tackle made around the 46 yard line Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's hit and taken down. Shotgun and five wideouts. Here we go. Throws incomplete. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. And this one is a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Auburn holds a field goal lead. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's taken down right around the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 22. Makes it to the 34. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Jack, Jack. Jack, Jack. 
Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 34. Quick pass. He's at midfield. And they push him out at about the 45. That's good for a gain of 21 yards. First down. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He's going to air it long. A great first half comes to a close. 10-7, Tigers. Reese David, thanks guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That makes it third and three. Strike to his receiver, no good. Stewart was the intended receiver on the play. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. They're set to go for another round. is up a field goal. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Makes it out to about the 43. That's good for a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 43-yard line, first down. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Check four, check four. Back two, back three. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. First down. From the 25-yard line. First down. Makes it out to about the 16. That makes it second and two. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Third 
down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Auburn has a three-point lead. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's on the run, and they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. They'll knock him down for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Certainly they don't have the return on here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He drops it. Kirk, he broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. They're ready to begin another drive. Auburn is up by three. There he goes. He's at the 30, and they finally bring him down at the 27-yard line. From the 27 yard line, it's first down. And he is drilled at the 30 yard line. to about the 27 yard line third and 10 coming up ball on the 27 they go to the back and he's hit immediately in the backfield He gets it up, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 26. Auburn's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. 
This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, first down. He's taken down at the 47. So we got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. From the 47-yard line. First down. Ready. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down around the 42-yard line. That brings him second and five. He makes his way to about the 32. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down and 12. Ball on the 34-yard line. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. He scrambled. They bring the quarterback down. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. Texas A&M is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Auburn holds a field goal lead. The 39 yard line. That's good for a 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39 yard line. And he hits him hard at the 42. yardage on that run. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Let's it fly. 
know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Smith is back to receive. He punts. No, he won't. Incomplete. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's stopped behind the line. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 50. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Tigers with a three-point lead. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Let's go! Green and eight. Green! And he has it on the corner. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31. tries to buy some time. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tackle made at about the five-yard line. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Touchdown, and they take the lead. This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. And he adds the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 49-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Brett, I noticed during practice this week that this linebacker may be a wide receiver or running back at heart. He's messing around during practice with some of the offensive skill players. Really, it pays off for him here as he's able to show enough instincts there to be able to knock that ball away.
Third and long here with a vital drive in the fourth quarter, and they need a conversion. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Booming kick. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Texas AM holds a four point lead. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Here we go. There's a strike complete. He's down. it right nice pickup very effective play calling in a third down situation it's plays like that you need to win ball games convert on third down first and ten ball on the 34 yard line he's taken down at about the 49 nothing tentative on that run at all he looked very determined and got the first down Carries the ball for a nice game. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he's tackled at the 46 yard line. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. That'll make it 35. Texas A&M is up by four. Let's go! Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. They'll bring him down around the 45-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. He really got a hold of that one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Passes to the back, incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guys' hands. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. And it's almost picked off. Going long. Almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Chapman to punt. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Yeah, 
Makes it out to about the 43. That brings up second and nine. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Texas A&M is up four. And they'll get him in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Thomas is the intended receiver on the way. Fourth down. Johnson, the return man. Oh, excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 18. He's out to the 30, and he's level at the 33-yard line. Gaining 15 yards. First down. Right left, right left. They'll get him for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Less than three minutes in the game. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Smith is the deep man awaiting the return. And this one is a beauty. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Fires out to his receiver, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. Passes it. Oh boy, almost intercepted. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 33 yard line. Heading for the corner. For the 20. Touchdown, AM.
just under two minutes in the game. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Well, we're under two minutes to go in this game, and this offense is down by two possessions. The defense knows that if they can come up with another stop, this game is over. Let's it fly. And this one's broken up. Well, the great safeties are almost like a center fielder roaming back in the back, just reading the quarterback's eyes. Here, he does a really good job of seeing where the quarterback wants to go with the football, getting a very good jump on it, and simply not getting it away from the receiver. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Zips it to the back. Looks for his tight end over the middle. Tackle at the 47-yard line. And he tackles him hard at midfield. He lets it fly. That close to being intercepted. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. It's almost picked off. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. This is the eighth play of this drive. They come out in a five-wide set. Slings it to his tight end, but he drops it. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. Huge play for the defense. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with. And he took advantage of it. From the 40-yard line, first down. Nice run there. Moss gains about four yards on the play. Auburn will have one timeout remaining. And they get nice yardage on that run. Good pickup. And with a new set of downs, a chance to kill even more time. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. This one's all but wrapped up. So the Aggies come out on top, 24-13. So that wraps things up for us, 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.